everyone. My name is Christy and welcome to day 327 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today is also Christmas Eve, so I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I actually have on a Christmas sweatshirt type of thing. I love festive clothing. <laughs> but so anyways, today I'm going to be trying out the AOA Studio Wonder Sponge. So I just took it out of the packaging because I wanted to wet it before hopping on camera. But so this is from Shop Miss A. It's only $1. It's a latex free high definition cosmetic sponge designed for easy applying and blending. And when I initially took it out of the packaging, I was surprised by how soft it was. It really felt similar to the Beauty Blender. It was softer than my Real Techniques sponge, but not quite as squishy and soft as my Beauty Blender. But then when I wet it, it almost got a little bit harder. But also when I was wetting it, it absorbs water so much more than any other makeup sponge I've used. And it also, I was washing it with soap, gets so sudsy. I don't really know how that's going to affect the way it applies makeup, but I was very surprised by how absorbent it is. But so I've already primed my skin and I'm gonna go ahead and use this Wonder Sponge to apply my foundation. I mean, actually it's called a Wonder Blender. Have I been calling it a Wonder Sponge? Wonder Blender. And the foundation I'm going to be using today is one of my favorites. This is the Femme Couture Rose All Day Foundation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and see how this sponge works. So right before I hopped on camera, I heard this story and I think it's a nice story to share, especially because it's Christmas Eve. It's the season of giving, but it's also the season of receiving. And this story was really moving to me. So what it is, there was this person who was dealing with a lot of issues, mental illness, things like that, that kept this person out of society for a long time, years. And today he got to go out in the community with some people that are workers that take care of him at his, or now I'm saying him, but that take care of him at his rehabilitation center and he got to go out to a store for the first time in years today and he went out with $40. His purchase came out to $16 and he gave the clerk a $20 bill and then asked if he could donate the other 20 to a charity. And when I heard that, it just really moved me because It's so generous. The first time being out in the community in years, I would think that I would want to buy a lot of things that I hadn't seen before or hadn't been able to have for a long time. But the fact that this person didn't want to spend on himself, wanted to take that opportunity to donate to a charity, when he's had a very hard life so far and just reinforced the need to be generous and kind in this world. And I really admire how selfless that person is given everything that person has gone through. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. Maybe it could touch someone else the way it just touched me and remind you that you know whatever types of feelings that evokes that maybe we should be more generous that we should appreciate what we have things like that i think it's important to think about that during the holiday season when everyone's putting lists together of what they want and opening gifts but it, you know we're very lucky if we get to do that so anyways now that my foundation is applied it blended out beautifully with this sponge. And I am impressed. When I said that this was a very absorbent sponge, I thought it would absorb a lot of the makeup. And 
you can see it's got the makeup on it, but it doesn't have that much. When I use some of my other sponges, the sponges are covered in the product afterwards and I feel like there is very minimal product left on this sponge right now. So it actually didn't absorb it away from my face. It blended it in beautifully. I really do feel like I have an even airbrushed looking finish to my skin now. And I also noticed that I didn't take that much foundation on the back of my hand as much as I normally would, but I was still able to completely cover my entire face. So this sponge helped really make the makeup go further and get more area of coverage. So I'm very happy with this. I really cannot believe that this is only $1. I've tried some $1 sponges and they were not good. They were very hard. They would just smudge the makeup, not blend it. So I absolutely think that this works just as well as my Beauty Blender and my Real Technique sponge, both of which I use every day. That's a beauty sponge is my tool of choice. And now I'm going to start using this one as well. Also, if you want to see my review on the Femme Couture Rose All Day Foundation, I will link that video down below. So if you, maybe you've never used a makeup sponge before or you're trying to find a good one, I definitely recommend this AOA Studio version. I'm probably going to have to go back on and buy a bunch more of these. Even my Real Techniques sponges, maybe they're around $5 and I thought that was affordable, but I can get five of these for the price of one of those and this is just as good. Or you could get 20 of these for the price of a beauty blender. So these Wonder Blenders are so high rated and I understand why. I am surprised it took me this long to try it out. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.